infinite base bill bell challenge for the thousand dollar cash prize. Let's do this. So, Bruno, what do we talk about riding mini cows, bro? What are you doing? I a snack. I, I mean snake. What? I'm writing my letter for you in a novel. Wait, wh what? Yo, listen up, bro. We got 15 minutes on the clock, okay? This is another new versus pro challenge, and we have to build, it. We have to build an infinite maze. Now, let's go now. I know exactly what I'm doing for my infinite maze. So, we're going to start off with the top layer first. The mazes are going to go here. And then, we're going to go to a different section right in the center over here. So, first of all, let's go and do this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. That should be plenty of space. Now, I know what you're thinking, Moose. What are you talking about? Let me, let me show you what I got for you, okay? So, we got five blocks over there, five blocks over here. Now, all of this is going to go down by a few more blocks so for example one two three there we go all right so we're gonna do set zero and now we're gonna find another five more blocks so one two three four five this is a really bad explanation of what I'm actually doing but trust me it's gonna be super awesome instead of making a maze on the same exact level we're gonna keep on making the mazes go from one level to another level to another level and then it's gonna lead to a prank which is gonna prank everybody so pretty much you can't really finish the maze it's the whole point of it and then do this and in the middle of this maze is gonna be a special surprise which will lead to a whole lot of nothing okay so i guess what we should do probably down here is gonna be a bunch of tnt with of course the classic trap chest prank so that's gonna be the best option for us now for the maze to look pretty awesome and feel kind of like a pro maze i'm just gonna use the usual blocks gold blocks they're kind of lame i'm thinking like why don't we just use emerald blocks? You know what I mean? Like some fancy stuff right here. I mean, this looks pretty fancy. Then again, we also have diamond blocks as an option. And I think a really cool diamond block could be some of these. Or this. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, that should do it. So anyways, let's get building our maze. That's going to be the basic layer all around. And of course, we're going to make the mazes have like underground tunnels, which will lead to the underground section. And this way, nobody can cheat and figure out what's going on. Now, I was really thinking of also having like a mob maze in the future as a separate video. So if you guys want to see that, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Get your boy moves to 5 million subs. What exactly is a mob maze? Well, that's going to be the one that's going to have a bunch of pranks, traps, and all that kind of stuff inside. So it's not going to be like a regular maze. It's going to be kind of like a maze runner type of thing. If we don't know what maze runner is, it's kind of like... Like mazes with death traps death run and maze runner wait no no death run and mazes combined that's the best way to describe it all right first layer is done this will be the entrance to the maze we're gonna start off right here all right and right off the bat we're gonna make this be super duper confusing so they never know where they're exactly going to those have one dead end over here and there we go that will pretty much do it for now so anyways let's go to this section right here and we're gonna keep on doing the same exact thing and we're gonna make a lead all around now once you go all around here and you get to this section that will drop you off to the next location which will be right here okay there we go so let's keep on designing the maze making it all weird and fancy and trippy and so nobody knows what's ever going on we don't really have much space to work with the maze so i'm trying my best to make it work but hey like i said it's a little bit confusing <laughs> So that should pretty much do it. There we go. And the same exact setup here. Just random blocks everywhere that don't make any sense, leading to different locations. Um, and now let's make it go this way. All right. And for Super Dude to confuse it, we just gotta make things extremely trippy looking. And this way, Super Dude's gonna be like, where am I even going? Okay, that will do it. There we go. All right. And then we'll make like two different paths here, okay? Another section here, which can then lead to another section, which will possibly lead to a dead end. So we'll do something like this, all right? and make it seem like it goes somewhere, but it doesn't, all right? Yeah, it's not really that hard of a maze at all, now that I think about it. It's kind of easy to uh, get through it, you know what I mean? But hey, all that matters, this should be good enough for now. There we go. It's a pretty complex-looking maze for sure. Hey, Mr. Cat, don't gonna give away no secrets. So what is Super Nova Musita up to? All right, maze entrance complete. Now all we got to do is stack this up so it's so high up and nobody can actually look inside. So let's do stack 10. Ta-da! Dude, that is very complex looking. Honestly, I like that, but I'm gonna actually cut that in half. So stack five, there we go. That should be good enough. So now, once you're on this section, you're gonna drop down to a completely brand new maze location. And to make sure that no secrets will be given away, we're just gonna do something like this. So this way it conceals from looking from the top. There we go. Now for the next section, all this has to be this block. Or oh, wait, no, better yet, let's use a different block. Yes, good, good would be perfect for this one um to make it look even crazier let's use this block of gold Ooh, i like it and 
there we have it, this section is almost complete. Now for the actual maze wall. So for the flooring, I guess we'll use like the same exact block here because it does look really like weird. So I'm kind of hoping that with all the gold blocks here, it's gonna make the maze look even crazier and make it feel like you're going just in circles. And that's the whole point of the maze. It's supposed to make you feel like you're going in circles. So anyways, this is gonna be the most important part right here. So we gotta design this maze to be completely weird. So these are gonna be the actual maze walls, okay? And one of the sections will be the entrance. Now we don't really have much space to work with, but what we could possibly do is have two different paths. One path that will go over here and lead to a dead end, another path that will go over here, but the only way to get inside is gonna be a secret location. Okay, so something like this, pretty much. All right, and then another path that will lead to another dead end. And that dead end can be like over here or something. Yeah, that works. So I guess with this maze, it is going to look, it's going to like feel a little bit more complicated with all the random like angles and stuff, but that should be pretty sick. Okay, I think that works pretty good so far. So it's not that difficult, but hey, it's just good enough. Super and Musina are pretty smart, so to be honest with you, they're going to figure out the maze, but they're not going to figure out the final trap. <laughs> and that's going to be the prank of the year. Well, it's not really going to be the prank of the year. It's just going to be so simple. They're going to freak out when there's nothing down the maze. They just spent like 20 minutes trying to figure out. Okay, so that will be the actual exit right here. There we go. And that's going to drop down to a completely brand new room made of emeralds. And then for the final section, there is so many different ways that we can make this maze like you know prank over here be crazier i could even set up a command block that teleports everybody to a completely new location where they gotta go through an entire game mode but with the timing that we have currently it's a little bit tough so anyways if you, if you guys have any future ideas just comment down below and we'll make it happen okay All right, this is done officially. Now let's do this here. So we're gonna do something like this. All right, so fill this all in. And then this is gonna be the final part where all the TNT will go. Let's pack it up. Are those diamonds? No, they're not. <laughs> Ta-da! Nice. So once again, we gotta make this feel like its own maze as well. So same thing we're gonna do here. It's not gonna make any sense but we're gonna put a random button, and when they click on the random button, it will blow up everything there is. All right, that will do it. So all we need now is a button over here. Ladies and gentlemen, the maze is looking pretty insane. Okay, and this does lead to the final part over on this side, and then all we gotta do is something like this. I don't want it to give away the other prank. So we're gonna conceal it off completely. There we go, that will do it. So you drop down this tunnel, you walk around, and boom, you find a button here, you click it, and it goes boom. Don't click it. Ta-da! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished our insane looking maze. Check this out. Three different layers all going underground. I'm done. There we go. What? What do you mean, what? So what if we make it spell out maze? I could also do that too. <laughs> Just in case people forget that it's a maze. All right, there we go. Maze. Perfect. Just to trigger people, we should spell it completely different. Ta-da! The maze is ready. Let's see what Soap Group has built for his Minecraft maze. So, uh... It's a piece of poop. I think it's pretty obvious. He's got eyes on it. I, you know, I, I kind of like the smile. He just kind of looks into you. You know what I mean? It's just like, hey, hey, do it. Is that bad? All right. What is this? Me like turtles. Do not enter. Wait, wait why does it say do not enter? <laughs> what is over here? Nothing to see here. Well, he's got chains on the side. So how, how do we? How are we supposed to go inside? That you we're, we're just gonna walk in. We're just gonna walk in. Uh, wait, there's a toilet over here. Wait, what? Is that a dead end? Oh, there's a toilet. Wait, another toilet. Wait, why are there so many? Why are there so many toilets? I'm so confused right now. Am I going the right way? Um, I think I'm going the super dupe. Hey, Missy. Uh, is, is that your maze? Nothing to see here. What? Are you are you grilling food? What? I am cooking. Uh, it, it, fish burgers. Oh, but I can just I can just walk around your maze. What, what was the, what was the point of that? Who you want to see? Um, you, you know what? I I think I'm good, bro. I, I don't know who sat on the toilet before. Oh, oh, they're just gonna we're just gonna go see Mustina. All right, see see ya. You know what? I think everyone's gotta subscribe and leave a like for Super Noob because he's just amazing, dude. I know he's so weird, but hey, he's a Super Noob. So what is this over here? This is Musina's four floor maze. Check it out. I like it, Musina. I like the creativity. Let's check it out. Um, you know, um, 
this is all oh, you know i almost fell for it this is kind of easy though low key it's not that difficult and you do run super quickly and i like the staircase that is super fancy looking i gotta say you've definitely outdone yourself this time so i like the little designs here with the slime blocks really cool looking and then we're on the third floor that's it dude that was so easy for a maze house but hey that's fine with me though check this out a pretty cool looking area you know like a living room area with a tv and a kitchen and then over here is Musita's bedroom why, why do you like dancing so much is that is that like something you want to tell me <laughs> dance dance Musita. what all right, so anyways, let's go ahead and see what I got for y'all, okay? So this is the ultimate maze. All right, so all you gotta do is just walk on inside and find the destination. All right, there she goes. She's looking for the location. She's not sure where she's going. Okay, she's kind of figuring it out, Loki. Okay. All right, she's going. Yeah, you know what? I just realized this is kind of too easy to do. What? Are you kidding me? I thought she was going to fall for that one. Okay, she's almost... Oh, she fell for the dead end. She's still going. Oh, no. Okay, what now? Oh, another dead end. Wait for it. Wait for it. She's almost at level two. Oh, there we go. Now she's in the gold stage. Here she goes. She's trying to find the dead end. And boom. She got a brand new dead end. Easy, dude. All right, so what's the next location? Where is she going to go? Oh, she made the right decision with that one. This is it, Mustina. This is your only chance. Come on. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, my prank is going to work. Okay. Do it. Do it. Yes. Come to the dark side. Bye, Mustina. Yeah, let's go. All right. I think my maze definitely worked. Click this playlist right here. I'll see you tomorrow. Woo.